The right-wing politicians in Europe prefer to talk about topics that they can use to gain support among their voters, the most popular of them being the alleged threat posed by refugees or by Islam. On these topics, they usually agree. But what do these parties want in economic and social policy? Here they have vastly differing ideas. The FPÖ in Austria likes to say that it makes policy for the so-called little man. But whenever the party is in government, you realize that's not true. The ones who benefit from their policy are the wealthy and big companies. For example, the current government has introduced the 12-hour workday, although hundreds of thousands have demonstrated against it. The FPÖ shares this neoliberal course with the Swiss SVP. In Hungary, the situation is complicated. Viktor Orban likes to present himself as the lawyer of the little people, too. And indeed, his government has adopted some social policies that benefit the population. At the same time, only those who live their life in the way the government wants it benefit from the measures. For example, those receiving social benefits can be forced to work. The Fides is trying to encourage women to have as many children as possible through multiple financial incentives and assistance. The AFD in Germany is a divided party in terms of economic and social policy. Many agree with the neoliberal course of the parties in Austria and Switzerland. However, in East Germany, some think the AFD would do better to present itself as the workers' party. For this position, the PIS in Poland could be a role model. For example, they introduced a child benefit, lowered the retirement age, and started a housing program. These measures are one reason for the great support for the PIS within Poland. One might at first think that the RN in France is a left-wing party. They call for a higher minimum wage, contain financial markets, and raising taxes for the rich. And in Italy, the current government, in which the right-wing Lega is involved, has recently introduced a basic income for the unemployed. However, these benefits promoted by the right-wing parties always apply only to their own people. And this is always defined in a racist way. Only the real Polish, the real Italians, or the real French should benefit from these measures. Foreigners and migrants should be excluded from them. Regarding this point, all those parties are very much on the same page again. But precisely because the rift in social and economic policy often splits the party's loyalties down the middle, they will have a great difficulty in determining what kind of Europe they want, a neoliberal one or one with a nationalist social policy.